and welcome to my channel. Today we progressed a little bit because I have a microphone here. We are going to cook some of my leftovers. Have you been in front of your fridge like wondering what you can do with a quarter of a cucumber, a leftover onion, the last tomato of the gang, and a radish? Well, I am going to tell you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. leftovers. I also have some lettuce, pre-washed and pre-cut, and a little salad dressing I made yesterday with garlic. I love garlic. And we are gonna make some sandwiches. Usually I have a gluten-free bread. I'm totally gluten-free. Actually it's a homemade bread. It didn't like the fridge. It got all, I don't know, hard and Next time I'll know. But we still have some um, pretty decent slices. I don't want to move them. It's all crumbly. And I try to add a protein. So I might have a vegetarian steak made with beans and rice and oatmeal and I'll make a video for you of that. And this time I have some tuna fish. If you eat meat, you can always have some ham or any meat products you want, but I kind of cook mostly vegetarian. So for me, tuna is a very good fit. Here I have a very good quality tuna. This is very important for me because most of the tuna cans are filled with soya flakes. So this is pure tuna. Uh, with oil, I think, yes. And next, you have to have some delicious bread. So I have my relish, this is homemade relish. Don't ask for the recipe, I just did whatever I wanted. I, I didn't even write it down. And I have some mayonnaise, classic mayonnaise. I know, not so good, but I love mayonnaise. 80% healthy, 20% indulgent. So these moist things are going to give punch to the sandwich. This is going to give the protein. We have carbs. You can have like a carb-free bread or pita or whatever you want. And we have the vegetables. I have the salads beside because I love to have a side salad. This is very important for me because I love veggies. So having like this much is not enough for me. So let's start with the mayonnaise. I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise. I kind of eat a lot of fat. I try to eat healthy fat, but mayonnaise is something I usually eat uh, the indulgent part of my diet. You also can have like a soya mayonnaise or vegan mayonnaise. So here we have the moist part. Now let's add a little bit of veggies. Ooh, <laughs> it's jumping. So here I have this uh, leftover piece of cucumber. It's gonna be perfect because cucumber is really fresh and it's going to add a little bit more moist into the sandwich. Okay, that's one for me. So I put my relish. Oh, this is super good. Then it's a good time to put the lettuce leaves because it's gonna stick on it. Perfect. Time for the protein. Because I do a lot of sports, I usually try to add protein to my diet. Today it's fish, but it's mostly a vegetarian um, kind of protein. I do vegetarian steaks with beans and cereals, for instance, and quinoa. So here we are. Now I have a leftover tuna. Now all we have to do is add a little bit of veggies. This tomato is really pale. <laughs> it has a very dull color. So also another trick to do a very savory sandwich is to add something, I was gonna say spicy. You can put mustard, you can put onions, you can put garlic, you can put chili, anything that will enhance the flavor of the rest of the ingredients. And to enhance, I love to use onion. And then this poor lonely radish. So let's cut it in very thin slices. Also the radish is a little bit spicy, so it's going to enhance the whole flavor. So now we're done, let's close the sandwich. I will add a little bit of mayonnaise because it's gonna stick, boom. And this is the final result. It's gonna be so messy to eat, I admit, but it's gonna be delicious. So now to finish the meal, because I like to finish my meals with side salads or side veggies, I'm going to put a little bit of lettuce on the side. And I have a leftover 
salad dressing, I'm going to use to make this salad very, very flavorful. And voila, this is it. Now we are going to eat because I'm very hungry. And as you can see, leftovers can become super fancy, restaurant style, and super delicious. So I repeat the formula. I always have a little bit of protein. It can be fish or it can be tofu or it can be any vegetarian steak I make, gluten-free bread or gluten-free tostadas or any gluten-free tortillas or anything that can become a, a wrap or a sandwich. I will always put vegetables and something really tasty and delicious and moist. It can be goat cheese, it can be mayonnaise. I love my homemade relish. I will not be able to make it again because I don't remember what I did. This is my formula. I hope it will help and inspire you. I hope the next time you see a poor lonely radish and a piece of cucumber in your fridge, you are going to know what to do. Bon appétit! Put a little thumbs up, subscribe, and comment if you have any leftovers in your fridge you never know how to use. This is the final result and I love it. It looks so yummy. So see you in the next video. Goodbye. May I highlight this beautiful butter dish my neighbor gave to me. Ooh, <laughs> it's jumping. Okay, that's one for me. Um, here my... <laughs>